Kim with Coastal Business Supplies. In this video, you'll learn how to use Silhouette Cameo as well as Silhouette Studio Designer Edition to create and transfer rhinestone designs. Open Silhouette Studio. This is actually the Designer Edition of Silhouette Studio, which is an upgrade from the basic version of Silhouette Studio you can download directly from silhouetteamerica.com. Now we're going to go open the file that we want to rhinestone. So click the open tab. And the first thing you'll want to do is actually go down to file type and change it to all. Otherwise it will just look for Silhouette Studio files. Now you see all of the images you have available. Click the one you want. Click OK. Now we're going to change the size of the media because we're working with a, a nine inch piece of sticky flock. We'll center the image. And now we're going to trace it in order to have an outline that we can rhinestone. The trace window is now open and you can see some of the different options you have. The trace settings you'll want to play with a little bit in order to get the best trace out of your image. So we're going to choose select trace area and we'll draw a box around our image. You'll want everything to turn out yellow in order to get the correct trace. So you may want to uncheck the high pass filter and you'll see that the yellow is filled in more and if you change the threshold you can fill in all of those little areas uh, that haven't been filled in with yellow. Now we'll trace it and go back to your image and you actually have two separate areas now. If you move one image away, you will see you have the outline and the main image already. You can delete the original image. You don't need it anymore. And use one of the corner nodes to pull the outline out and make the image larger. Now in order to rhinestone it, we're going to go to our rhinestone window. And here we have several different options. Um, you can see sort of the different way rhinestones can look with your image. Uh, the different edge, linear fill, radial fill, the different size stones that are available. You have several tools at the bottom you can use to help change your image. The select tool will help you pick a, a specific rhinestone. Um, you can move it, delete it. Uh, you can also use the single click tool to add a rhinestone to a, a space where you feel like there needs to be another rhinestone added. The freehand tool is really cool because you can actually just create your own freehand rhinestone design. Any shape or image you'd like to create, you can easily do, and it's already in a rhinestone template for you. Now we're going to set up the file to cut. I'll choose the printer icon, and that's going to help us set it up to send it to the Cameo. We we'll want to change the settings. And Silhouette Studio has this nice option where you can actually choose what material, material you're using. We're looking for the rhinestone template material, and it will tell us what speed and thickness it's on. We'll want to make sure it's on a double cut, 
to get a, a really good cut on the material. And then we hit cut. Now that your design has been cut out, we need to remove the holes that have been cut out of the sticky flock. Now some of the holes are going to pull off when you remove the backing paper, but the other holes, I would suggest just using the back of your work tray, smoothing it over. You can actually use the, the squeegee that it comes with and then peeling it back up. Once you've removed all of the rhinestone cutouts, you'll want to pour your rhinestones over the image. And we usually suggest just flooding the image with the rhinestones to make it a little bit easier on you. And we're gonna use the squeegee to help brush them into place. Most of the rhinestones will just magically go face up into the holes. But you're always going to have one or two that just need a little extra attention. Most of the rhinestones are in place and we're just going to use some tweezers to get the last few right where they need to be. And there you go. Now in order to pick up the rhinestones to take them over to your garment without everything falling everywhere, you'll want to use a transfer mask. What I suggest in order to make sure your rhinestone design doesn't get screwed up is to try to fold it up a little bit and put it in the middle and lay it down very slowly. Let's move these out of the way. I'm going to use the squeegee again to smooth over the rhinestones, make sure they get stuck to the transfer tape. That should be good. So they all came up. And if you miss one, it's not a big deal to just use the tweezers again to put them back into place on the tape before you press it to your garment. To press the rhinestones, simply take the transfer mask with your rhinestone design, smooth it onto the garment, and then press it at about 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. We're using the Hotronics Fusion to press these. After it's done being pressed, you want to let it cool to make sure that everything adheres properly. After the rhinestones have cooled, peel up the corner of the transfer tape and slowly pull it back. And there you have a perfectly adhered rhinestone image on your shirt.